Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a part four video of our SQL series that we are discussing. And let us get started without wasting much time. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So the first question uh, that was asked was, what is the difference between count star, count one and count zero? So for this, I'm just trying to use EMP table that we have. So if you see, I have 14 records in my employee table. So technically speaking this, will not make any difference to the count or the results that you will get. But the most preferred form that we use in real time is a count star. Okay, so let us try to run all these different forms from employee table. You see, we are getting the same results. Okay, so this is a very different, uh, very uh, straightforward question. So don't lose it on this. Second is find a list of employees whose salary is greater than average salary of department. Now this question, you can get it again in three ways. One is simply finding out list of employees greater than average salary. Okay, list of employees whose salary is greater than average salary. Very basic form of the same question. Okay, so what are we doing? We are trying to find out first average salary. On top of that, I'm trying to write a simple select statement. Okay, so if I try to execute this, it should give me list of employees whose salary is greater than average salary. Now, what is our average salary? If I run this, we will get an average salary. So 2073 is our average salary. Now, simply if I run, it is all employees whose salary is greater than average salary. Now, suppose if at all I want to make it complicated, I want employees whose salary is greater than average salary of department which means we need to find out average salary per department, right? So for that, again, if I try to run this from EMP, but we are doing it at a department level. So that is why I'm trying to join at department level. Now results will change. You see, we got King, Ford, Jones and all. So this is per department value. Now again, if at all, I want to make it even complicated a little further. So the challenge would be, he might ask you to display average salary as well per department, right? So we are, we are just calculating the average salary from EMP table, fine, but we are not displaying it anywhere. We're directly showing it. Now, how will you, or what will you do if at all you want, uh, if the interviewer is asking you to show it. So this, we have to get it here, that's it, okay? So for that, I'm using a joint type. Maybe you can try it. Uh, in a different way as well. So if I try to run this, I'll get list of employees whose salary is greater than average salary. And I am also displaying the average salary. Okay, so first I'm trying to find out average salary using this, where when I do that, I am getting the average salary per department. See here, per department I am getting. Okay, now, for all of this, I'm just writing it as department underscore average, okay? And from this, I am trying to get my average salary. This I have brought it up, okay? I'm trying to join it on this and salary greater than this. So now when I run that, I'll get only those employees whose salary is greater than average salary and also displaying the average salary. This is the this is another important question. Next is write a query to display number of work employees working in each department. So this is pretty straightforward. I don't want you to lose marks from this. So we should all know this count of field, whatever you need, comma department name, because we need working in each department from employee table. So when I run that, it should give me total count per department so in department number we have three sorry in department 10 we have three department 20 we got five department 30 we got six okay next again get the lowest salary from employee table so that is minimum right minimum lowest means minimum so i can simply run like this select min salary from employee table but suppose you need per department what will you do you simply write department number comma mean of salary from employee group by department number. So if I execute this for each department, we will get minimum salary. So I can write min max 
or whatever we want, we can write any aggregated functions we need. So this should give you the result for that. So next question was how to concatenate two columns in SQL. Again, this is an interesting question that can be asked in or that was asked in real time. So I can use a plus operator to concatenate two fields. So employee name is one field followed by plus and again plus job is my another field. But thing is, I want to use a hard coded value in between each of this field. So I'm use, passing that in single quote. So when I run that, it should give me select ename job. So employee name working as, so working as I have hard coded here plus job. So Smith working as a clerk. I'm displaying that as employee job. So if you observe the header here, I'm writing that as as employee job from EMP table. This is one form of or one method of writing. I can also use a built in function called as concat. OK, so for that, I'm just using select ename job concatenate function. I'm using employee name, my field name comma followed by in quotes. I'm writing working as because we want to hard code that right. So I'm using that followed by again job. Again, it is a field coming from EMP table again as EMP job. So from my from EMP table, if I execute, we should get the same result. So that is how we can write. OK, I hope this video has helped you. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video till then. Bye bye and have a good day.